And the editor wrote, oh, it, um, I think his paper has gone to the publisher. I said, we didn't get anything. We thought this paper is accepted and published already, something like that. This is now. And then say, okay, haven't you got uh, any advice that revised me something? I said, no, we didn't get anything. So it was fallen in the crack. You know, we did not. So found out that the reviewer did not ask for much. So we did that within a couple of days and uh, sent out for the two. So three, four months, otherwise you never know. Uh, in our in another paper, it happened four months later when we wrote to the editor. It is, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I was going to US and I was reading your paper and I lost it. And it took seven months. I said, oh my God, I'm not going to send it back in. <laughs> And unfortunately, we, that paper never published, but it was uh, referred by so many people, it's last like a good publication, that it was not published. We decided no, we project another thing. Okay, now, as I said, um, all, um, the remaining few uh, minutes left, I talk about integrated voting earnings quality, integrated voting agency cost analysis report, Okay, so let me show you what the editor, uh, not editor, um, okay, I'm sharing uh, the referee report. So this paper tests whether the practice of IR, lower agency cost match sample. I see the paper contributing existing studies of IR internal benefits, whether and how IR effect agency causes it interesting and what exploring. So we say it's a positive thing at least. Okay? The major concern, whenever they will see Harvard, that means something coming which will not be happy. So this is major concern from me. First is the reverse causality. Okay? Whether IR reduces agency cost or higher agency cost firm adopts IR. Reverse causality. Okay? Which comes first? Chicken or <laughs> um, the second is the sample selection process, which is not clearly described and based on unpublished working paper. So it was my mistake, I did not really notice that my co-author using that paper I thought is published in a good journal because I looked at the author's name and said, okay, it's fine. But that's the point that editor, sorry, the reviewer has picked up, okay? So as I said earlier, it has to be, if it was published in accounting review or JAR or Journal of Accounting Economics, the reviewer would say, fine, no problem at all. So, so next, um, the attacking is that theoretical link and potential reverse causality. The reviewer is coming back again, talking about who comes first, egg or chicken. <laughs> All right. So that's the thing. So what should we do? Okay, I'll show you what we have done. And then, a um, lot of other issues. Related argument, H2 seems redundant. So, the reviewer doesn't like the uh, uh, hypothesis 2 in our paper, okay, which is the IR scope. You know, remember that we used, uh, yesterday I was talking about dummy variable and IR scope. We run parallel to show that higher level of integrated reporting is, is better for you know agency cost, but the editor, so the reviewer doesn't like that, right? The reviewer says no. He or she is happy with the dummy one, but not the score one, because in IR in SH4 you get one, um, so out of 100 
getting a score for each company. Okay? So the reviewer they will like that. Now, talking about sample selection, the reviewer is not happy as well with the sample selection. So fundamentally asking that question that you revise the sample selection criteria. Why is it, you know, the reviewer is not happy? Because we detect mistake by relying on that unpublished paper. So the reviewer got a very good point to criticize this paper. Okay? So that's why I emphasize that in order to go for a big journal, this, this is a journal, is an A-star journal. Okay? So naturally we expected when you got the RNR, we were very happy. You know, we're not at all unhappy even after all these hard criticisms and all these things, right? So the reviewer says, okay, you change the selection criteria. Do it the way I'm suggesting. So the reviewer is not just critically, uh, you know, uh, criticizing the paper. The reviewer has given us some suggestions to improve the paper, and which we're very lucky that many reviewers don't give any guidance, just criticize. What do you do? Okay? So that's why, so the reviewer is very much uh, aware of SH4 database, and he or she is questioning some of the issues relating to SH4 database. Reviewer has problem with PSM, performance score matching, which is very, you know, minor thing, easily fixable, okay? Reviewer is also questioning about agency cost measure, our dependent variable. We use four measure of agency cost, and reviewer is saying, oh, why not uh, do two other agency costs? So include two other agency costs. So we found out that, yes, in the literature, there are two more agency costs very good, available. Okay, so is it easy or difficult? It's easy, you know, it's easy. When you have four, you can add two, no problem. Okay, we have done. Reviewer has some problems with the Hackman model test, and reviewer is saying that, no, because you have that inherent problem with the data selection, you do whatever econometric test you do, I'm not convinced. Okay, so blah, blah, blah. So you see the reviewer is very thorough, isn't it? Very thorough. And that is the characteristics of a uh, high quality journal review process, right? Four pages, the reviewer is very, uh, you know, uh, clear cut about this, all right? And then um, I'll show you what we have done. So remaining time. So basically side by side, reviewers comment. There are two reviewers, other reviewers generally have it. This reviewer, reviewer number one, is four pages, lot of comment. So you right, uh, right side by side. We have addressed the theoretical concern raised in this regard. We have highlighted the monitoring disciplinary effect argument of agency theory regarding disclosure practice and explained the link between IR and farm agency costs from theoretical perspective. We further present unique attributes, uh, long term and short term, detailing reporting, and ways of integrated thinking. Blah, blah, blah. These are written in section two of the device paper four to six. So I'm giving clear idea. Read the, uh, four and to six pages, and we have addressed of your theory, uh, concern relating to theoretical part okay. And then uh, uh, there are a few things we have addressed. Uh, uh, Reviewer to I'm not, you know, um, looking at. 
So basically, everything we have done. Okay? So it is ready to go to the joint. So we 